is a um, Great Northern 2102 and I'm putting a tsunami in this one and a 27mm high base speaker the speaker's going inside here and I've cut the weight back and the weight of the speaker will make up for the bit that I've cut out and because there's a low profile on the drive shaft I'll be able to put the tsunami in across the top and secure it into the top of the boiler so they've got the speaker facing back out when I do the headlights I, uh, because there's room in the front and I'm going to be so, so tight for room here I keep the resistor for the headlight in the front and what I do I, I drill through and I put little surface mount lead inside there which I wire those up myself and um, bring the wires through and I put a little bit of circuit board in there and I glue that on and I, I love using this Loctite gel super glue it's thick, it doesn't run and it works great now I'm putting some uh, glue on just using this uh, Arlene's clear tacky glue and I put this in around the speaker and spread it around so that I'm sealing all the way around the speaker itself including the top part here okay I got the uh, speaker in and I'm just testing how it's uh, performing and I've also put the tsunami in right across the roof of the uh, boiler this uh, cap will fit underneath the side I've put a piece of styrene across to hold the, um, the tsunami up and just glued either side of it there we have a listen to the sound okay now this is how I do my uh, cabin lights I just use a bit of cardboard and I uh, hit it with one of your minky fingers and uh, blacken it once it's black I then a bit of super glue and when I'm putting these together at uh, just the surface mount lead just glues onto that so I've got a decent surface area there that's already bit gone black uh, to put into the cabin roof I've added extra wipers you can see a printed circuit board which is going to be on the left hand side which is the insulated driver wheels so those two there will fit inside there and rub on the rim of both those drivers there and added pickup and also just down in here I've added a surface mount lead on a bit of printed circuit board which is going to be the firebox flicker the gentleman who wants this sloco that's the way he wanted it now we're almost finished there's the red lead on the back there's the cabin light inside and the firebox flicker which you haven't programmed this yet but sound wise I'm pretty happy with that it's good to get a big loco that's got some deep deep chuffs and that with the high bass speaker really good